it's a new week and there's so much to do. First things <clears throat> is um, I found we have been doing our spring cleaning, right? And uh, I found this very, very old painting that I did. Uh, kind of a more impressionist style of this little church that is, it's not a church. Uh, um, I forget the name. I forget the name. It's the... Um, uh, I forget, I, I actually forgot the name, sorry, but it's one of those little um, churches that uh, are there, but it's not a regular uh, place where people come. Uh, people, uh, the, the uh, Orthodox priests will come here uh, during Easter time and do a service. Um, uh, that's basically the only time that this little church is um, uh, in any kind of uh, official service. However, I love this little place and it's just right over the hill, just on the backside of my house. And uh, it just has this great little feel to it. It's just a little, probably about as big as my studio here. <laughs> it's pretty small. Um, and uh, uh, so I painted it and I, I found this old, I mean, it's like 15, 20 years ago when I did this, uh, when I did this painting and I, I'm looking at it today going, oh, wow, wow, look at all the things that I can fix. So I, I have in my mind a YouTube video that I'm going to um, attempt. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to attempt to, uh, to adjust a few things to make it work because the painting, of course, I mean, back then I didn't see any of the things that I see today. Uh, this is my, you know, my um, toddler walking uh, example of, you know, my, if I were a toddler just learning how to walk and I'm attempting to, uh, to dance ballet, that this, this would be the visual um, representation of that. Uh, so I, I want to go in and see if I can, I, I don't know, somehow um, put in some of the things that I know today to see if I can actually get this painting to, to work more effectively. Uh, right now, it's just a hodgepodge of colors. Uh, I was not at all thinking about composition, design, anything. I just wanted to get that little church um, uh, and try and get a, a sense of the scene. So this is how I started off painting. Right. And, you know, um, I've come a long way and it was through learning uh, these uh, basic five, uh, you know, depending on how you're measuring, but these basic uh, foundations that um, that I love to talk about, starting with the notan. Right. So if you squint down. There kind of is sort of a notan uh, in here, but uh, not an effective one. Uh, and certainly I had no idea about notan at the time. So that's one of my projects for this week. Another one is I'm working on this, this painting, uh, this seascape. Uh, that I did, or that I'm still working on it. And uh, the design of this painting, which was intentional because my notan is very clear in this painting. And uh, um, so here I have in this morning scene, this triangular design, right? The sun is coming up on this side. I have a triangle this way. I have the light side of the tri, you know, coming through these rocks, and there's another triangle here, coming here, and then the darks create another triangle, and then the 
the light side of the sea that's closer to the water. Am I still not connecting? Uh, well, I'm going to keep going because I don't know if I've connected or not. Um, so, uh, so I'm working on this and you can see the difference, right, of my abilities today, uh, painting uh, with what I did back then. What is good about this painting is that there's a it's much more impressionistic kind of expression, an expression sense. I mean, just coming in and painting and not thinking about anything else, but trying to make it look like a church um, or this building that, uh, uh, that I can see. And, um, you know, I mean, there's, I, I, I don't even know if I tried to paint something like this today, if I could actually paint it. As a ballet dancer, cannot go back and walk like a toddler. So that is the beautiful process of, of growing and of becoming uh, uh, more, um, more experienced. Uh, and opening up and getting steady on your feet or getting steady from your fingertips as you glide your brush across your canvas. It's all really quite beautiful, the whole way, uh, the way we move forward and, uh, and develop. So that's, uh, those are my projects. Uh, the other thing that I, I'm going to talk about this week a lot is um, don't copy your reference photo, right? Do I copy my reference photo? Do you have something set up and you do exactly what's there? No, 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 no. You use your reference photo to set things up. It's there for you to set up your canvas. Right. If I came in and painted every single little rock, and I actually have painted too many rocks in this scene already, there's twice as many in the actual scene, if not three times as many uh, as what I have indicated here. But I need to go back and even uh, get rid of many of this these rocks. They can be there, but they have to be more of a... Um, of an idea that it's a rocky place rather than painting every single rock. Uh, and so um, you get the reference photo, the reference area uh, that you're working on, that you're taking from, and you are creating your painting from it. So no, you do not go in and paint exactly what you see. Maybe if you have like a still life painting uh, you could do that, you know, you can, you, you paint what you see because it's a, it's a controlled scene. But when you're outdoors, uh, you don't control the scene in any way. So you have to let go of latching on to exactly what you see and just kind of letting things happen. So um, it's a, a um, how do you know when to let go of the reference photo and move into what you want to do? That's a very good question. And I think the answer lies with you have to go on your instinct of what you have learned, your experience and your instincts. What are you being told in your creative channel, what is happening, and what is your mental um, experience level telling you what you need to do. It changes and continually grows and expands from when you're starting out as that toddler learning how to walk uh, and moving into becoming a ballet dancer. There's uh, a lot of different things happening and you're always moving and growing. So with that, um, I'm going to get started on my week. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Be inspired. Be creative. Be you.